what is the best cryptocurrency tax platform for Bybit? If you are a Bybit trader, you've been trading on Bybit all year, you might be wondering which one is the best. Well, I've ran through all of the top cryptocurrency tax platforms and literally integrated my Bybit with all of them and used them to see which ones did it correctly, which ones were the easiest, what specific one, the top recommendation, you know, my, my top recommendation for figuring out your taxes on Bybit would be. So I got this article pulled up here and it's pretty accurate. It's from Fortunately. Uh, dot com and it's the best crypto tax software solutions reviewed and I thought it was decently accurate just overall not specifically for Bybit so I went through each one of all of these that they recommended from top to bottom and I just put my Bybit um, you know tax information in and I saw which one was accurate which ones figured out correctly let's start off with Coinly I thought Coinly was pretty good because there's two ways you can import all cryptocurrency taxes, you know, your Bybit taxes. It's through API or CSV. Now, API, basically you go on your exchange, you'd go on Bybit into your profile into security, and you would create an API code for the tax platform to use. Now they can use that API code to just jump in there and pull information they need off of for your taxes. And you can set it to, you know, just read only. You can go through the permissions. You know, most of them you just set to read only where they can't do anything and they just need to see your deposits, withdrawals and trades, you know, something like that. Each tax platform which we'll get into has instructions on how to do that. And now this I think is the most accurate because they can see everything from your wallet, from your exchange account and pull everything they need off of every single transaction. And um, I will say that's what I did. I used um, for which tax platform I thought was the best, but you can also upload your Bybit or any other cryptocurrency tax information through a CSV file, which is basically like a spreadsheet and you export this through your exchange. You go into your transactions, your trades, your withdrawals, and you export a CSV file and you upload that to the tax exchange. And basically what I look for is all API because I don't want to do the extra work. I just want to create an API code and they just pull it right off of all the exchanges for me. And some bigger exchanges like Coinbase and stuff, um, you'll go on these these tax exchanges and you can just log right in your Coinbase and it pulls everything they need right off of it. But um, that's not the case for Bybit. You have to use either API or CSV for uploading your taxes. Now let's start off with this. The number one they recommended was Coinly. I thought Coinly was pretty good. Um, the number one thing is you can use API um, for Coinly and Bybit. So they do support Bybit on Coinly. Um, let's see if they even have it on their main page here. Oh, let's look for Bybit. Um, can you even search here? Oh, here, here, here we go. Bybit, right there. They have it. Um, and it says right here, API import, CSV file import. So a lot of these you can just go on their website and check before you even do it. Um, and I found out that Coinly was decently accurate, but it did not calculate my Bybit cryptocurrency taxes correctly. It was quite a bit off. Um, it did calculate all of my other exchanges correctly, but it would not, I would not, you know, use it for Bybit at least this year as they are right now. Um, it is probably the best one I would recommend if you do not use Bybit, but it did not calculate my Bybit taxes correctly. Let's go back into it. Crypto Tax Trader. Crypto Tax Trader, uh, I don't believe they, they have API for Bybit. Um, let's see it here if they even have it on here. Um, Bybit. Yeah, they, they only support CSV file format. You cannot do API directly in there. And um, so I exported my, and also to export your CSV from Bybit, you actually have to email their support, um, 
let's see here. Let's just go to the help center. They have their email somewhere on here. I can't remember where it is. Let's see here. So you can submit a request. Um, but their actual email, I just you you just gotta find Bybit's email. Um, I'm I'm can't remember where I found it. Um, I think I submitted a request and then they got back to me. But you have to actually ask them for your transactions throughout the whole year. Tell them which, um, you know, what coins or all coins and the dates and everything because you can't export the entire year on Bybit. You can only do like three months at a time. So you actually have to contact Bybit if you want to do it the CSV way. It's kind of a pain and then they email your CSV. You know, they're pretty good about getting back to me. But um, I just don't quite trust that. You know, I want a direct API integration. Um, but I did upload my CSV on Crypto Tax Trader and it was wrong. They did not do it correctly. It was pretty far off for Bybit. Um, they did all my other exchanges correctly, but not even close for Bybit. And it's only CSV, it's not API and CSV. So I would not use Crypto Tax Trader. Let's go on Crypto Tax Calculator. Now I tried Crypto Tax Calculator out. And let's check out Bybit here. Um, they have Bybit, and I believe, let's see, yeah, they only support um, support it through CSV. Let's see here. Oh no, never mind. They did have they did have API and CSV. Um, and I tried this about a week ago. I ran through all these. It took me quite a while, so I'm just going off my memory here. Um, but they did have API and CSV, so you can do it through either one. Um, but I found out that they were not accurate. It was not not accurate with calculating my Bybit taxes. And also, I will say that each one of these was quite a ways off, like completely different when I calculated my Bybit taxes throughout the exact same thing. I would enter my CSV, I'd upload it you know, on each one of these, and they were all completely different. I do API and it was completely different on all of these. So that, you know, was a major factor obviously in all of this. And I manually did it myself, went through all the transactions to see which one, you know, was was right, was correct. So crypto tax calculator, I would not recommend for Bybit. It was not accurate. Now, 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 let's jump on token tax. And I'll come right out and say it, guys. Token tax is my number one recommendation that I would recommend for Bybit. It was awesome. It is one of the more expensive at $200 um, for like 5,000 transactions or something like that. You can go over their, their pricing plans. This is the one I did right here, up to 5,000 transactions, $200. So it is one of the more expensive, but it calculated my Bybit taxes perfectly. And it has API and CSV. I did it through API. It took like five minutes or you know a few minutes to upload and calculate it all. It was absolutely great. And one major um, positive also about token tax is that when you do it through a CSV file, it doesn't just upload, they actually, their team actually goes through your CSV file and makes sure that it's uploaded correctly. They literally, right here, they do the work for you. And by the way, I don't get anything, I don't even think I got a discount on token tax. I'm just trying to save you some time because it saved me a lot of time and it actually did my Bybit taxes correctly. And, um, you know, I got all my trades in there. A lot of them would only get like your deposits and withdrawals, you know, and wouldn't get any other gains, short-term gains, capital gains, anything like that. It would literally just say like your deposits, that's it. Um, and like it says right here, it figures all this out. It was ridiculously easy to use. It I had all my taxes done in like 30 minutes, all my exchanges uploaded, and it, it calculated my 8949 correctly. And also it put everything on the 8949 it didn't give me my coinbase 8949 my bybit 8949 my kraken 8949 or whatever else you got kucoin who knows what else you got it it didn't you know give me them separately like a lot of other ones do they give it to you all separately you got all these 8949s hundreds of pages it did it all correctly it was all on my 8949s all the sales and every single thing um so token tax is what I would use if you use Bybit. That would be my recommendation. 
let's go back here. I did a cointeen.com and um, this one was pretty close. Um, you know, I, I tried this one out with Bybit. I think it was just through my CSV. Um, let me see here. They do support Bybit. I don't know if they even show integrations on here. Um, let's see here. Bybit. They do support Bybit, and it's only through CSV. Um, let's see here. Sync your Bybit trades. Yeah, I think it said it back here. Um, where did we find it here? Bybit. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, just through CSV on a coin and and it was it was pretty accurate. It was like number two or three most accurate, but it wasn't a hundred percent accurate for Bybit. So I would not recommend a Cointeam.com. Bear tax. I mean, you know, I can just tell you guys. I I did the rest of these. I already told you the number one was token tax. I would use them. Bear tax did not do it correctly. Zen Ledger did not do it correctly. Taxbit only supported um, CSV, did not do it correctly for Bybit. I did not do Bitcoin taxes, and I did do Coin Tracker, and Coin Tracker did not do it correctly. So I'll just save you guys some time for running through all these, and just you know, overall token tax, they they did me right this year, and um, you know, the only thing that hesitated me from using token tax is that all of these other ones. Um, they had a free plan where you can log in with your Gmail or make an account username and you can calculate your taxes. You can see what they're going to be before you download it, though. You have to pay. But token tax, you had to pay up front before you basically did anything, uploaded anything. You can log in, you know, and stuff, but you need to pay to upload it. So that's what kind of. You know, I didn't want to do that because I didn't know if they were going to figure it out correctly. But I just bit the bullet and, um, you know, I, I paid the $200 and just to see if they're accurate. And um, it was. And it's the one I'm going to use from now on every year. So um, that is one negative, you know, that I have to say about token tax. But the rest, um, totally positive. You know, and they do have a cheap plan if you have less than, you know, not that many transactions. So token tax token tax token tax for bybit guys direct api integration and that's the summary you know of everything we've kind of went over in this video so um like i said please subscribe to my channel and smash up the like button and i'll see you in the next video peace